So now I'm Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we'll move further, and I have write a script for the spawning of the cars. So here you can see that we have created public game objects: sport car one, sport car two, spawn point, private, sorry, public transform. And then we are saying that if the sport car ID is equal to one, then we want to spawn car one. Otherwise, we want to spawn car two. If the ID is two. So in this way, if you have uh, multiple cars, you can do so with uh, all of the cars. And uh, in this uh, example, actually, I'm using one type of car only, but you can uh, definitely use multiple models and multiple uh, colors, etc. for your cars. Okay. For the ease of this uh, tutorials, uh, I'm just using the one type of car only. Uh, so definitely indeed i will create one uh, more type of car as well so that you can learn about the process as well but after this video so now we have the select car option uh, script as well where we are choosing the car so here you can see that uh, when we will move back to our our car showroom uh, one more important thing is that we should have save script on this scene okay it is very important otherwise it will not work so we need save script in this scene as well also for this uh, choose car function uh, button we will just uh, add the uh, we will delete this thing we don't need the level loader actually sorry for that and we need actually the canvas here on the uh, on click of this choose car I think because canvas has the select car function <coughs> and I uh, will just go to choose car button let's add the canvas and then we will select uh, go to select car and choose car okay so that's beautiful uh, one more important thing is that uh, in the build settings uh, we have added this car showroom to the index 2 which is not good because the uh, older uh, implementation of the menus we have did with the uh, older uh, indexes and that are not in the uh, this particular uh, way so we will add this car showroom scene to the end maybe okay and then these indexes are absolutely good for the older behavior so now you can see that i have added this car showroom to the six number index so what we can do now we can, we can just go back to the uh, car i will just save it as well and we will move back to our racetrack selection and uh, in the car selection button we have added this index 2 so we will just change it to the 6 index okay and uh, now here uh, the important thing is that uh, for example we want to go with the racetrack uh, sorry scene one race track or scene one time trial or scene two race track etc so i will just go to scene one time trial for uh, showing you that uh, how we will implement that so one important thing is in scene one time trial first position cash a thousand why this is like this we run it out okay everything is good no problem so what we can do uh, we can actually go to our car which is the player car you can see car yellow player is the name of the car and uh, if we uh, if we zoom in uh, if we come here you can see that uh, this is the position of our car I will just uh, add one more type of car here uh, just for the learning purpose because uh, uh, sometimes uh, you may want to create a multiple type of cars like uh, 
some other type of car so for that reason i will bring one more car as well but before that i will set up this car out so the thing is that if we go to prefabs you can see that we have only one player here for the main player which is car yellow player okay and uh, what we want is i will not uh, make any change to this car yellow player uh, but uh, indeed i will create another car here okay um, and another prefab here so for the sequence so here for the uh, car yellow instead of car yellow player i will just go to prefab and unpack the prefab and then i will just rename it and i will rename it to uh, I will rename it to player one maybe okay so let's make it player one so it is player one car okay one more important thing is that uh, if for example we make a prefab of this car and uh, then that car will uh, spawn in the uh, in the this uh, scene then the camera uh, is a multi-purpose camera so it will uh, work absolutely good but if for example if you have uh, other type of cameras like uh, cinema machine camera or the standard cameras then what you can do you can create another object and you can add camera and player to that object and then make that object as a prefab and name it as a player one car okay so i hope you understand the logic in this uh, in uh, actually this type of uh, behavior we have multi-purpose camera so the multi-purpose camera usually detect the car uh, directly actually okay so i think but uh, yeah one more problem here that if we will spawn the car it may not detect the car so we will uh, we will make it, it in another way so let's create another uh, empty object okay and you can see that empty object is uh, at another point we don't need it to be at that point so we'll select the player one car we'll just copy the component of the player one car so the position and rotation and then we will just go to game object and we will just paste the values here okay and now we will just rename this game object as a player one car okay so let's make it like this and then we will move player one car here and also the multi-purpose camera rig also to the player one car okay so it is important so now this is a, a game object which is actually the which holds the camera and the uh, and the car itself okay so i don't know why uh, player car and this is the player one car is fine and this is the camera okay no issue with the camera we can actually uh, make the position of the camera to zero 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 it didn't uh, have any problem because the it is a multi vertical camera so it will uh, follow the car as well so no problem and now if we select the player car you can see that the okay uh, no problem it is uh, it is good uh, okay it's fine so this is the player one car and uh, we will uh, make it uh, drag of it here and uh, now this is another prefab it is not the prefab of car yellow player it is the another pre prefab which is player one car i will just uh, play the game uh, just for testing purpose that uh, if everything is fine or not with the camera so let's see and it looks uh, good okay so okay everything is fine with the camera so now i will just uh, rename this car again but before that i will again unpack the prefab and i will just rename it to player two car okay 
and uh, we will just uh, re uh, we will just change the color of the car definitely you can change the uh, you can change the other aspects like uh, like the uh, model of the car as well I will do that as well in a while don't worry about that so now here you can see that uh, we have this player one and uh, where is the color field hop particle helpers so this is the car sky car okay sorry inside this we have this car and uh, this is the body okay so I will change the color of the body here so let's make it uh, some other color maybe okay this is the default color of the player 2 car and I will rename it to player 2 maybe like this and uh, this is the player 2 car and uh, before doing anything else I will add the script change color script to the body as well okay as we have created that script as well so here on the body we will select the body and uh, we will add that script the name of the script was change color script which we have created in the um, last video color change okay oh, and uh, for the we will just uh, make it prefab and I'll just delete this prefab and uh, then I will just uh, for the player one car I will just open the player uh, one car we can just directly click on this open and then uh, we can make changes to this so we'll just go to body and on this we will also add the same script color change script and then we will save it and move back and everything is good now okay so now for some reason you can see the colors of all cars are now blue for some reason I don't know why uh, because these yeah because all cars are sharing on the, the same material so the model is similar that's why uh, if you want these to be changed uh, with the change color then the model should be different okay or you can apply the different material as well so uh, for example I will just add the player 2 car and uh, I will just uh, uh, extend it just for showing to you the right uh, way you can see that uh, body mat yellow is selected so we can go back and here you can select the body mat green maybe okay so now the color will be changed for this player to car and we can just go to our right and apply all and now everything will be fine and now we can delete it this car from here and now if we move back to prefabs player you can see that the color is changed now so beautiful now we have two cars player two car and player one car and we want to spawn these cars over here so definitely we need a spawn point on uh, here uh, for spawning out this car okay so I will just copy the uh, position component and I will just create another empty object and we will name it spawn point and uh, for this spawn point uh, I will just uh, paste the values component values okay and uh, now I will just uh, delete the player one car no need for that we will do it manually and now on the spawn point we will add the spawn point script so you can see spawn car script over here and now you can see we have spawn point uh, transform so we'll add this one 
the same object and then we have sport one car we will add this one sport two car we can add this car if you have multiple cars with multiple models you can do so with that as well i hope you understand now we can save everything save and save project as well and then we will go back to the main scene or any other scene if you want and then let's go to track one uh, car selection maybe so let's select this car and then let's make it the color red maybe choose the car okay choose the car is for the color selection and then we will just move back to race track and then we will just go to try uh, race track time trial okay track one time trial and then let's go to start and you can see that the red car is spawned successfully to our scene beautiful so everything is working good you can see that we can actually select the desired car and uh, we can spawn in it into the into that area okay uh, also we can actually uh, do this sim same thing for uh, multiple model multiple cars and multiple colors as well and for all the scenes as well okay so what I will do I will do the same thing the similar thing for all the scenes and I will show you that so here you can see that this is scene one racetrack let's add it here let's move back and car yellow player just uh, create another a empty object here let's make it spawn point or whatever name you can assign and then you can delete the yellow player car we don't need it we can also delete the multiple uh, purpose camera rig and then on the spawn point we will add the spawn cars we will add the spawn point here and we will add the cars player cars here so that's spawn point sport car one sport car two like this and similarly we will move back to other scenes as well and we will configure the other scenes so scene two race track for some reason the texture of the train is missing because i think i sh deleted some uh, maybe some texture from the environment so i will just move back and in a while i will just add the texture because that's very important so let's create a layer maybe and let's select some glass type texture if it is available so okay maybe this one and for this texture i will just remove the layer and now you can see that we have new texture okay that's good so here we will just uh, create empty spawn point and we will add the spawn cars and definitely we will select the player car i will just copy the component values go to spawn point paste the component values graph of the spawn point delete the scarf player we don't need it in this scene we are making moving it dynamically spawning it dynamically so player one car player two car and that's it and uh, in the last we will go to our last scene which is scene 2 time trial and let's uh, delete the car the yellow player and the multi-purpose rig and in the next video we'll move further you can you understand everything i think at this point so let's meet in the next video goodbye